Hi everybody, welcome back to Built Not Bought and something a little different. We've got a repair to do on a diesel heater, as you could judge by the thumbnail. Now we fitted this diesel heater a little while ago and it was, wasn't, it was, it's new, really is new. It's only sort of happened about a month or two after we actually got the heater fitted by us. And the problem is, so there's the diesel heater. And the problem he's got is that it's just blowing cold air and showing up an E08 error. Now, E08, as everybody knows, spells fuel problem. But the only problem is, I've taken the fuel pump off, I've looked at the fuel hose, um, we've run it with, we primed the pump without it going to the actual heater. We, it, We've done all sorts of this, and every indication is telling me, and I've uh, sort of advice on this as well, that to change the glow plug and the temperature sensor. Now, if it's not that, it's going to be the actual main board in the heater itself. So if it's that, if that's the case, we're just going to take the whole heater out, remove it, and replace it. But I want to take you along for the ride, so you can see how to change a temperature sensor and a glow plug. So let's get in the van, get the cover off, and show you the location of these items. And now that's off. Right. Let's turn that over so you can see it. Right, so this is quite a different motherboard to most others I've seen. So we'll do first. We'll change, change the temperature sensor first. Now, to change the temperature sensor, there's a little clip down here holds this in. And you literally put out the hole in the side of the heat exchanger pull it out and lift now that releases that enough to get the temperature sensor out so we lift that up and there is your temperature sensor so let's unplug that one that's the old one put that to one side so we don't mix it up with a new one which is here I'll leave a link to the dis in the description to where to get your temperature sensor and your glow plugs from. So now you, oh, it's, it's simple. Just place that back under there. And it literally sits in its own place. Very fiddly. Now a lot of play, a lot of videos on YouTube will show you this being done while the heater is on. A bench. Yeah, we'll show you when it's in place. Okay, okay. There you go. Right, the temperature sensor is now back in place. And all we've got to do is plug that in the correct orientation back onto the motherboard. 
So there you go, that is the temperature sensor done. Now to, let's unplug the glow plug. Right, with this, be very, very careful. So you prise that up, the cover, and you pull it back as you prise it out. So there, so that's coming out now. And then prise it. So it slides back along the wire, like so. Now this kit came with its own spanner to replace the new one. So you put that over the wires, slide it down onto, there you go. And then just give it, crack it undone. Be careful as you undo it. damage on that now I can't see any damage on that one at the moment but that's not to say there's not right, I need to get a light and I will be back Again, when you do it up, don't do it up too tightly. So, you now what we do is we plug that. Place this back on. Bring that down first. So we put that back on. The low case pin at the back and then we put the screw back in at the front. Now that's back on, we put the cover back on the glow plug. Go and be careful as you do this. And 
there you go, that is back on. Right, that wire slots back into the slot of the casing down the bottom here. Again, it's not very easy. Right, when you're working with it in place, it'd be a lot, be be lot better back on the bench. Right, so we're going to put this cover back on. Plug the heater back in. That has given us power back on. Right, so what we're going to do now is fire it up, see if it works. This is the interesting bit. Right, so that's how you change the temperature sensor and a glow plug on the heater. Now, like I said to you, this was throwing up an E08 error code. There is the controller just here. So for now, I'm going to keep an eye on that. Hopefully, we'll get some heat out of this heater. If it does work, I'll come back to you shortly. Even if it doesn't work, I'll tell you what happened and what whether we got a problem with it or if we haven't got a problem with it. <laughs> we've got lots of smoke <laughs> coming out the exhaust but we got the same problem as we had before we got the same problem that we had before when we fired it up now the problem is fuel's getting to it oh dear let's open some windows in here Fuel's getting to it. The glow plug's working, everything is working. We've got a new temperature sensor in here. So, the problem is, so yeah, there's a lot of smoke in here. So the problem is not the temperature sensor, it's not the glow plug. We need to replace the heater. Uh, because I'm pretty sure it's the board on the heater itself now. <clears throat> right, okay, so. This diesel heater, the one that I changed the glow plug and the temperature sensor on. As we said, that wasn't the problem. So we fitted a new heater. It does look exactly the same as the old one. But this one's a little bit different in that controls are completely different and anybody who watched me fit the heater on my new bus which is quite a long time ago remembers that the controller spoke to me um, so it's a it's got a voice now instead of just a normal display let me show you so this controller listen to this Five shift work, four shift work, three shift work, two shift work. If you've got one of these heaters, it will speak to you as well. I wonder if you can change the voice on them. Now that'd be a novel little idea, wouldn't it? Anyway, so the moral of this one was change the heater, not the parts, because I'm pretty sure the motherboard on the heater is absolutely fried or something's wrong with it, something's not right with it. Uh, at some point in time, we will get the heater out, we'll be playing with it and see if we can detect the exact issue with that um, heater. I've, I've no idea. But if somebody out there has got an idea, so what it was doing was, it was showing an E08 error. It was blowing just cold air and there was no combustion in the chamber. You could always hear it fire up, but you couldn't hear this one fire up. So. If you know what the answer to that one is or what the problem is, 
leave a comment down in the uh, description in leave a comment below um because i'd love to know what people think it is because i haven't got a clue i'm totally bewildered by this one but again it was showing the e08 error which is a fuel thing and there's nothing wrong with the fuel or the pump because the pump's still on this one now and it's working fine so yeah if you know let me know right i know this weren't a huge massively long video today the main part of this was just to show you how to change a temperature sensor and a glow plug right i hope you're staying safe i hope you're staying well most of all as always staying really really happy bye for now